Two years ago, I reviewed your OCs in a mediocre light of giving every one of them a 10 out of 10. I rate this OC 10 out of 10. Since then, it was requested dozens of times to return and give my vast opinion on your characters of different worlds and chains. So now we're back, for me and others, to let you know, is your OC valid? So no need to On Twitter, I asked you to give me your OCs for me to review them. I received several answers and have recruited a team of five to assist me. So with your beautiful characters and creations, here are our team members. Papa Boy, straight out of the 18 oh. aesthetic. The most unique editor I've ever seen and had the pleasure to meet. So then we have Sor, the other androgynous Skrillex and a very talented vocal insinuator, whatever that is. Look, I'll do anything to keep my career afloat. Jamesy, a voice acting fiend, an ex-commentary YouTuber turned into a, a TikTok star so then we have kitty dog <laughs> that person who was on two of my songs aka uh the, the the animator and the artist and to top it all off we have musa yeah, me go soon that drop back joint that shit crazy uh -huh. dog so anyways real. to start us off yeah. you are each going to write a full-blown essay review on my sona for practice in mla format and i want it double to three pages it has to be exclusive uh, no, 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 no. For our first choice, we have this dog slash whale combo submitted by Toby. I think I'm gonna take it from here, Wolf aside. <laughs> P.U. I smell something fishy. Mm, no, no. no I get it. That's that's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. No, I get. I get it. That's hard. We have a Sona that looks eerily like kitty dogs by her mouth. Oh wow, this character is so exquisitely designed. I mean, look at the color scheme. Like, I'm not, you can't see the color scheme on this drawing that I'm making, but it just encapsulates it. Anyone who looks at this will make their, their eyes will go heart eyes. They're Ooh. like, oh my yeah. god. Uh, for 20 years. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, right. Okay, okay. And next you're wrong. Go ahead. Oh, wait, y'all. I think he's like wearing a little invisibility cloak for real. Yeah, that's and pretty hard. hard. Pretty yeah, hard. hard to see. So, w when you first look at this, this monkey, he's sweating drip famously with his fit. But look a little closer, there's more than meets the eye. He visually presents a problem that we as a society need to understand. Across the world, there's the increasing perception that many individuals, especially in the furry culture today, that we have the inability to create a vision for a near future which we or our children may one day and exist in that is yeah. fundamentally different. The you monkey know, I is think Hold on, I'm not done. Hold on, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. This is important. The monkey needs to be understood. Next up, we have a group by someone who was actually here. I just... <laughs> Because you have all of those colors at your disposal doesn't mean that you need to use all of them. This looks like if Claire's had a mascot. Go fuck yourself, bitch! I hope you die- I mean, uh, ooh, I'm, I mean, uh, um, explicit. Now, this one is made by a user known as Teddy That Draws. Um, there's nothing wrong with the Sona itself. I just think I don't rock with the name because their name is Maul. I had really bad experiences with malls. You know, like, I went to the mall this one time to go see fucking Spider Man, and I saw this couple. One of the dudes looked like Seth Rogen, right? And he was, oh, and they were keeping no. their girlfriend. Borderline yeah. having. Borderline having sex oh the fact that this person named their character Maul breaks me down into tears. <laughs> this, this, I don't know why, but this sona reminds me of Fortnite. It looked like Drift. This sona reminds me of Fortnite. Look at it. You see the stripes? <laughs> <laughs> it looked look, look like Fortnite. This sona looked like it's in Fortnite. Man. <laughs> Ooh, I well, recognize I this. We could get, that's real if you think about it, because we could get all the squad juices into victory royales, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> this looks like what happens when you take, like, Wolficide's character and just run them with too much bleach. <laughs> they done Michael Jackson Wolficide. Yo, this shit look like I feel like this is the only character I'm gonna say something nice about. I just love the balance of color in this, and like... If you were to go back to ancient Roman times, there were still moments in history where women would be called to the battlefield. Extremely rare, but it happened. And when the Romans were guarding the gate against the Visigoths and the Vandals, 
there is an old lore which states that if you were guarding the gates of Rome as it fell, the last republic, you would have scars on your hand and on your nose, and you would be reborn, and that would be proof of your loyalty towards the republic. And if that lore is true, this person, if you look at their hands, they've got just that. So I think they're onto something here. Megumi Kurosaki, uh, who is a main character of a light novel series book called Overwork. He wants to slay the guys with his bare hands? Oh shit, I better run. <laughs> he like his nails messed up though when he's trying to stop the guys. They're <laughs> going shiny, bro. That's he, got the, he got the nail manipulator nails. Big boom. So, how are you gonna be a Warhammer character and a furry? Furries play Warhammer. The 26th Primarch, Forgotten Son of the God Emperor of Mankind, ten, 10 foot 7, and along with Crit the Protogen, who is a combat engineer who fixes problems. It looks like they're a real member of the. Pop? <laughs> Okay, so I thought just to set an example of what a good OC looks like, I thought I'd just bring one of my own yes, handcrafted yes, OCs. Yes. This is Yif Yaf. Yes, yes. I see that you I see that you're familiar with the Yif Yaf lore. Oh yes, so, Yif Yaf is so familiar. I've read all the Yif Yaf novels and, and I have all the Yif Yaf merch. Oh, no, is that a tail or a dick? It's whatever you want it to be. Biggest W I seen. Look at those eyeballs. I bet this character plays um, um video games and is really good at it. Like a photo, they got like a little. They got like a laptop with Hatsune Miku on. Yeah, base. No, that's base. That's yeah, I bet. Base. I bet. Not to be that guy or anything. Oh hell no. What? <laughs> On the third slide of this Mickey Mockies art piece, um, they're naked, and I'm not a very big fan of that. Because what if the children on Twitter see that? So oh, I'm going to have to rate this a solid zero. Uh, hey, yo, what the cat watching? They're watching. They probably uh, watching funny bro. human videos. Nah, I think they watching pitbull videos. Dolly, dolly, we're a wham. It's three oh five. Think dolly. about it. Pitbull is like the cat. Is cat is a cat what a cat is to a human, bro? It's a really cute dog. Uh, I don't want to be that guy again. Oh. But on the first image, it says they don't know I'm a cat IRL. Lol. That's not possible because cats cannot type on the keyboard. Sheba ghost. Oh. oh my god, bro. Those those antlers look pretty fucking universal. Oh, it's like you took like LSD and then that's what you see this dog. I don't know what their sign is though for it. Lumina. Last time she ever wrote to her folks, it was 1987. The war hadn't fallen yet, but Poland, it was on the outskirts of Western Europe. When she realized that she had greater opportunity outside, she strived to do that, but she didn't know how. She was only 22. She had a husband. That's your own kid. She had five kids of her own. She was raised in a military camp, but also, she had a very fond memory of the playground. She would bring a beach ball to a playground to make a statement, to say, beaches were overrated. She dreamt that one day she would beat the Incredibles themselves in the Olympics. She actually managed to scrape enough money together for a family, you know, with her husband being unable to work at all, by collecting radio scraps and building small working uh, walkie-talkie things for the local police force. She had to make it work. She didn't do it because she wanted to rat people out, she did it so that she could survive. But guess what? She didn't survive because the beach ball mafia went after her for trying to fight against the Incredibles. Now, this simple goat here is uh, rolling the dice, you know, they're a really, really good um, uh, D and D player. I know absolutely nothing about D and D, but the secret was the D and D was actually real, and that's how the, <laughs> the beach ball mafia was made. <laughs> Because this girl created it. How can they find you? 
if you're just role playing a character. And it was his favorite game to play with his mother before his mother was murdered by, you guessed it, a beach ball. What you all fail to understand is, as much as I love this character, and uh, as much as Breath of the Wild is a copyrighted <laughs> IP, in the animation you see him flying away. What is he flying away from? Nothing but the beach ball mafia. <laughs> He is here to stop the Beach Ball Mafia at all costs, because only not, he can do it. You see, he's yeah, got- that's more, he's of a, that's, Shinji, what? that's more of like a Mordecai from regular show. Uh, thank you all for coming. So this was Reviewing Your OCs, assisted by this fabulous group of five. Yeah, oh my god! Good week aside! Thanks for watching! Uh, uh, thanks get the six minutes when we did it next, guys! <laughs> Once again, you have brought me for a really long wasted my entire fucking evening. Like, who's there? What's the, 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 what's the